Hello everybody, I am the Happy Cabbie, and today I want to go ahead and talk about the fun that we had on Blog TV last night. Uh, for those of you who do not follow me on Twitter, you guys got to follow me on Twitter. Link is going to be down below because whenever I do these live shows, I always post it on Twitter, and that's the quickest way to know me. But of course, you can also go to my Blog TV. Link will be down in the description. You can press subscribe, and therefore you'll get an email notification when I'm about ready to do a live show. Anyway, Life in the Tent um, came back to YouTube, and he posted a video, and the video to me was kind of hypocritical, and I called some bullwinkle on it, and he and I, we exchanged messages via PM, and finally I said, you wanted to go ahead and discuss this on Blog TV? He agreed, he showed up, and, uh, and, we, and we had a rather heated discussion. Uh, the lulls came in when uh, the Reply Girl... Um, who, as you know, has had issues with Life in a Ten. Life in a Ten has had issues with the Reply Girl. She came into the room and uh, she joined in on the uh, the Skype conversation. And I basically just I, I, I sat back and I said, "You guys just I mean it was those of you guys that were in the room. I, I'm hoping somebody recorded it and post and posted to YouTube because that was some funny funny stuff. It was one of the the most oh it it, it was intense." But, uh, but nevertheless, um, I want to go ahead and summarize the points that we discussed. Uh, Life of Intent uh, made several points. Number one, he pointed out that if you are a banned user, uh, you're not allowed to have another YouTube account. And while that rule technically is true, uh, it's a rule that is rarely enforced. Um, but anyway, he pointed out that uh, Laura, for example, lost uh, one of her accounts, but the thing is, is she wasn't, you know, banned for the reasons that he's making the claim. Uh, she basically tried to file some DMCA's uh, on videos that were infringing our copyright, and we're not talking about like fair use or anything, stuff like that. This is direct re-uploads of her content. Um, YouTube uh, rejected those claims because she filled out the forms incorrectly and as a subsequent uh, they shut her down for that. Um, I tried contacting copyright at YouTube to you know see if I can get the account reinstated. Um, I'm still sending them messages, pestering them. Personally I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done. If I was able to get it done it would have happened already but nevertheless um, she did forward me the emails that she got back from YouTube rejecting the DMCA's and you know that is the reason why she lost her account. But anyway, uh, just a little bit heads up on that. Uh, he also, uh, the main point of his video was talking about uh, how you know the reply channels need to go away because all they're doing is focusing on the boobs and that there's a lot of spam in the uh, tags and description, despite the fact that in his own video, there's spamming tags. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be linking to the YouTube Creator Playbook, and I especially want to point out page 41 of that playbook, and I'll actually copy and paste the, the actual wording down over there, but it does say that you're not allowed to copy and paste, you know, the tags over and over again in the video description. But nevertheless, uh, you know, your tags are your tags and your description are your description. But if you post them here and if you post them there, YouTube counts that as spam according to the YouTube Creator Playbook. Anyway, we brought that up and he says, well, yes, it, it is spam, but it's not as bad as what these reply channels are doing. But nevertheless, uh, life in a tent, uh, he seems to be bent on getting rid of these uh, reply channels and uh, he wants uh, you know action to be taken up against full screen. Uh, well the thing is is full screen is more than willing to partner any channel that they wish to partner. Um, you know the, and it, it, I mean it, it, can you imagine the precedence that it would set It's like oh well I don't like uh, this person, so I think we should contact you know their network and say, I don't like this person. Can you get rid of them? You know that 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 can be a bad precedent.
But nevertheless, we did have a lot of fun on Blog TV, and even though the conversation was, was heated, it was civil. And those of you guys who have been subscribed to me for a long time, you know that Life in a Tent, we've been going at it back and forth for probably about uh, two years. I remember it was around Christmas of 2010 that, uh, that you know, he and I started butting heads. But nevertheless, um, we, we had a discussion, Reply Girl came into the room, and, uh, and it was fun. We was there for several hours. But like I said, I do hope you guys uh, follow me on Twitter and also subscribe to me on Blog TV because I actually do a lot of uh, live shows where you can interact with me live. And uh, occasionally we even do positivity raids where we will go leave comments on random people's channels you know, giving them thumbs up, positivity rates. That's a lot of fun, and uh, we do enjoy doing those from time to time. Anyway, I am the Happy Cabby. Um, be plenty of information down in the video description. I hope you guys check it out, and I will see you guys next time.